Greetings and welcome to another building tutorial. I am Darkling and today we are covering the Valentine's heart shaped window. Pretty straightforward design, works on flat walls and curved if you're curving around a try. So stick around and we'll get straight into it. So as you can see we have a few of the windows currently set up along this wall. There are a few different connection types that we're going to look at. Uh, we've got try to try just here, we've got a try corner, a straight one, try to square and a, just a straight square over in the far side there. So we're going to tackle each of those and show you how it all goes together. Now because I'm going to be repeating myself um, for a lot of this I'm not I've already assembled a lot of the build just to try and speed things up. So you'll notice that the shaping is actually very simple. Um, all we have to really do is have this sort of a shape in the window. So I'm going off a corner. So we've got four glass high and then a three glass high. This is pretty much all the glass you need for this side. Same with the other side because I'm skinning both sides of this window. Um, if I was leaving it open, like um, I did one yeah, on this one here, you can see through the glass there, I've actually got some tri glass in there as well um, because it's not feasible to do the inner part of the shape. So this is the tri corner, and uh, this is try to try. So we're going to start with the try to try because that was the first one I actually uh, came up with. So as you can see the tiles go up we got one two and then a third in a diagonal one above it back to the right diagonal and then we got three across so it's a pretty simple design uh, once you get your head around it it's pretty quick to go together the slow part is actually the fiddly bits with the tiles because uh, i don't know if you've placed tri tiles before but they can be quite painful so we're just running these up as quick as possible. I've got quite a few of these to get through with you guys today, so we'll do our best to keep things moving. Um, now I do tend to show things start to finish with my videos, mostly because, um, well, let's face it, a lot of people skip the the grind, the the annoying bits. We're going to be covering enough times today that uh, you should get an understand understanding of why the tries are so painful. So as you're placing them, they're going to be jumping around. Uh, you'll learn a few tricks along the way of dealing with these. Now, you'll notice that there's a few times where I will snap them into strange positions that don't look like they should be set up. Now, I call this snapping to the opposite. I have covered it in other videos. Basically, if you keep having something snap to the same wrong position, um, like that one there, you'll find that if you snap it to the position that it keeps wanting to go to, uh, often it'll actually snap to the place you're trying to get it to. That makes sense, everybody. Okay, so we've got this one completed. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. The build is nice and simple. All you have to do is copy what we just did on the other side of the window and this side as well. So this one we are filling in completely. Uh, you don't have to. As you can see with this window here, you can use the sloped walls to really like finish the inside so it doesn't like take up any of your space. For a big base, uh, having the shaped inside is really cool. I do have it in my current build as you saw at the start of the video I do quite I do quite like it actually now, I'm not sure if I showed the inside of the structure on that intro I'll make sure I get that in there before the end of the video so we are not too far off on this one it's pretty it's pretty mind-numbing once you've done a whole bunch you can kind of just zone out and just let things go. Um, occasionally you'll have ones like this. Now the reason I couldn't place that tile is 
I've already got a middle tile here and it will not snap another metal one in place and um, those ones you'll just have to replace with a glass one it's it's easy enough to get around come on there we go so I'm as you can see not really messing around too much just trying to get through as many of these as we can and you guys can see the process as we put them together it's quite simple like I said but um, once the repetition's in there, you'll have it, no worries. I need to come down off the bottom of that as well. That is not a nice connection. I right, may need to go down that one there. Nope. So with the tries, sometimes if you can't get the top one you're after, that one doesn't look too bad. Sometimes when you can't get the one you're after, it's better to actually snap downwards first. Get it? Oh, oh yeah, there we go. It actually snapped up there. The exact one we wanted. So the idea is snap downwards first and then do the top. Looks like I've got some misalignment. I must have snapped something funny in here. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much when you are when you do have the misalignments in here. You really won't notice a lot of it. Once you've got the rest of the tiles in place, it's pretty, pretty easy to hide little bits and pieces. I do tend to get a bit OCD when it comes to some of these, but uh, you've got to kind of gauge what you can and can't get away with. Sometimes the snaps won't line up quite as nicely as you'd like. Uh, you could spend three hours trying to fix it, or you could just move on. And most of the time, it's better to just move on. As you can see, we've got that heart one almost done. Oh, uh, I'll have to remove that to put the bottom one in. So you can snap upwards, but you can't snap downwards. Uh, you can snap sideways as well, but uh, definitely not down. There we go. Okay, so all we'd have to do is color that glass tile in uh, there and there, and modeling of a few of the windows right as rain so that's the basic one that's the one I first started with I quite like it I think it stands out really nicely um, so basically the rest of these are variations on this so it's the same idea uh, we've got the three tiles across we've got the two tiles for the walls and then a couple of tiles down uh, these are the ceiling tiles I'm talking about here and yeah we rinse and repeat and we get this so this is a try corner as you can see it's literally just one try and it's about the harshest angle we can build at so I'll show you what we can do to blend this now you can't get these perfect none of them will come out as perfect as that last one will other than the flat wall so what we're gonna do is I've pre-assembled exactly what we built there and we'll we'll show you the overlap so this one's actually really really simple uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just drop a tile in here so we're going to need that there to snap that into place we're going to just drop a single try off the bottom and get it to sit where i want it to i'm going to snap to the opposite there and then pop that one in okay so you can stick stuff out the bottom i did experiment with this it does not look good um, I recommend sticking with just this in general but um, experiment as much as you like you can always take it down and we're going to do a similar thing here now I won't stick the pointy bit off on this one I will keep it to just this one tile in the middle there and leave it at that I think that's enough to keep the heart uh, if you do bring it out I had a look at it I'll show you what it looks like you'll see why I don't think it's really necessary if you pop that in place it kind of looks good from some angles but once you get to the side it, it starts to look silly so I, I'd recommend leaving that one off and just sticking with the merging one and at the bottom same kind of deal if you stick the other ones in there's a lot of overlapping stuff I don't think it comes out quite as good 
we filled that which would look great but then if we start doing this side as well it ends up being quite bulky I think it takes away from the actual shape that we're looking for go a little bit into the sand as you can see it does kind of bulk it out a little bit too much I feel that just having that bit out the bottom is enough to, to get the shape uh, you could get away with not even having that at all if you really wanted to but um, I think it, it does top it off a little bit and we'll move on to the next window this is a straight window as you can see I've already done one side uh, I've left this side open so I'm missing a tile there uh, next one. you don't actually need any of these side tiles it just helps to have them to line things up properly um, you can kind of freeform it so if I take these off I can snap into there and then freeform up now the reason I don't recommend this is these tiles aren't perfect and once you've done it over like a like a few walls width you start to get a variance of where the tiles are sitting and it tends to be problematic if you're building it over a larger and larger area they tend to start misaligning so if you go off the actual try ceilings that are already attached to the wall I find it produces a better result that in the one in the back here screw that up oops make a mistake it's not really a major I know a lot of people think that buildings should go together properly the first time every time it's not really the way snap to the opposite there uh, you kind of have to fiddle with things sometimes they place sometimes they won't it's gonna be another one where we will need the tile in place once everything's snapped we can probably remove it if you're wanting to cut down on how many tiles you're using but it's already there let's pop that off as you can see we don't really need that there uh, you can do that with a lot of them as well so if I put that there I lose that one and that one that will stay there okay but you'd still need technically one to snap get that but if you're if you're really watching a tile count you can snip them out might take a little bit more effort here and there uh, or ghost if you're on a private server so we're currently playing on the lost island uh, this is my I'd say private server I it is my server it's not necessarily private it can be played on by other people but, um, we've got about half a dozen people on at the moment uh, not as very second but um, on the server in general so on oh I didn't go down no nope, that's not one that I do go down okay so uh, the reason it's not working is I am working to the wrong design so we'll pop that in there now what I did on this one is I actually dropped move this so can see a little bit uh, I basically brought it down like I would have with the others and where there's the gap in the middle I've just dropped a try off here and why is that not to Oh wait, is that? I already got one on that side. Do, but it's glass, so it should be okay. There we go. Okay, so like I was saying, I do have glass on the other side of the snap point because you generally can't snap two of the same kind to the same snap point. There is a way around this. I will touch upon that. And basically, here you're wanting oh, set those up. You're wanting just a little bit of shape in the middle to add that um, little point. But in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take it a little bit away from the wall. Right tile. Oh, yeah. We're going to point it outwards. Now, I did have a mess around with this. I do believe this is the best look. Uh, again, experiment yourselves if you don't like it. See what you like. I find from a distance that has the best look about it 
okay you don't have to fill the glass in you can use just straight stone or just straight any kind of wall and from the other side i'll show you right here so that's the glass tiles they're literally just to show you that you can snap try to try as long as you're changing up what type it is now there are ways that you can snap multiple of the same kind together um let's see if i can give you an example so if i have that and that and i want to have another one come out this way what i can do is i can drop the last one down below then snap another of the metal there pop that off as you can see you can actually snap multiple in there it's a little bit of a pain you can only do it in certain circumstances um yeah so tread lightly you can't get the fourth metal one downwards though that i've not that i've worked out um so in here we'll just cover some of the basics of what i was doing to get the glass look so we're going to copy the other side here now that is going to get replaced um okay oh i've already replaced my slopes let's get those back in here those and i will need stone ones Alrighty, so let's work out which side is which Should be able to just pop this window out. That one in there. And then now you'll notice sometimes when you snap in, you'll end up with some gappage. Depends on what kind of process you're going for as to whether or not that's going to be a problem. Uh, what you can do is put the opposite in and then hit E to reverse it, and it will fill in that gap a little bit better. Not as well as it could. The snapping on these is a little finicky. I'd prefer a little bit better of a connection, but arc is arc is get me. Sometimes you can actually get it to snap a little bit better. Depends what you've got in the area. So I do have multiple snap points there. So I've got the try and the wall that we're trying to snap to. Sorry, I'm just cycling through everything. Oh, that's not uh, letters that fill it in any nicer than that. So we'll just pop that in there and it'll have to do. Like I said, you've got to learn to pick your battles. That's already got the one in there. If you fight too much, you're going to spend your whole time just getting frustrated. I've done enough of these builds now that uh, you kind of just have to let it go. That's all we want. Oh, actually, no, I'm using the wrong tile. Um, the direct replace. Oh, replace it. Nope. Okay. And that ended up in there. It did indeed. So this is the fiddly stuff that I wanted you guys to see. Um, it's not always perfect things could be better but um yeah if you guys don't see when you when people do videos on how to build these things if they cut these little bits out where you see where we go through the struggle i think it's actually a bit of a bit of a silly thing to skip because people do tend to get frustrated when things don't go their way especially with things like this where if you show it going perfect every time um, people start to wonder why it's failing and if it's their fault so watch the grind experience it, it live with it it's, it's one of those things with arc you've kind of got to deal with but um we live and breathe it the only way through it Oh, the glass is already there. That's why I can't put it in. But as you can see, those are pretty straightforward to replace in. All I need to do is model the glass, and we can get it looking like that. I'll quickly do it just to show you. 
So add one, copy that across multiple, clear it. We're going to go no sides, copy that across multiple. Now we're going to go glass. Now one of the things with the glass is I don't like clear glass. I will always take it up at least to 0.4 and that adds just that little shade into it. And I think that that really just shows that there is glass there. Okay, so we'll go to the other side, have a look from there. As you can see, that is the straight window. Okay, so we've covered those two. We've covered that one. Okay, so we're now onto the square to try or try to square, whichever way around you want to picture it. Now, this one is a little bit more uh, you're going to have to live with the connection on, but it is still possible. Oops. I'm going to put tiles down. Now, as you can see, I did already fill in everything except for the overlap, so we're trying to cut down on time again. I figured you guys seeing the overlap was enough. If you want to see how it all goes together, just rewind and watch from further back. Okay, so all we did is cross those ones over. We're going to do the same kind of deal up here. Okay, so you're going to have to just live with the fact that there is some overlapping tiles there. It's not really all that major. And it's pretty straightforward. We can go into the inside and we'll have another look as well. Now I think this one's probably going to be a little bit more funky. So what we'll do is we will drop a tile in there, drop a tile in there. Okay, and then that one, that one, there we go. That bottom part's done. This top part we should be able to do the same kind of deal. Right spot. Ah, oh, first time. How often does that happen? That one. In. Oops. Okay. Snaps again. In the same wrong spot. Well, nope. Fine. There. Okay. So that's another one sorted. So as you can see, that's pretty straightforward. Let's just gamma up a little. We're losing a bit of light. Alrighty, so now we get onto the square. Now the square is a little bit different. Uh, again, we're going to have to do overlapping techniques. This one's a little bit messier. Um, the space through there isn't great. So if we do the overlapping techniques, uh, we're not going to get the same kind of result. As you can see, I'm struggling to get the snaps in there. I think I might have had it there. I'm just spamming the cycle key at the moment just to see if I can actually hit it, and I don't seem to be able to. So let's try it again with the dry glass. And no, that doesn't seem to want to snap there either. So basically what I'm trying to do is mirror it. Oh, there we go. We got the connection there. And let's have a look and see how that comes out. I mean, it's not ideal with the overlap, but it is usable. Okay, and we can do the same thing down here. So basically what I'm using is the glass and the metal because if tiles are really really close together of the same kind they tend to trigger off the collision Did I just do that the wrong way around? I really just did um, They cause collision problems so you can't actually place the tiles so we're just kind of bypassing that by using a different kind so we're aiming to get that snap again we got above it is a little bit funky 
kind of just have to keep moving around and try and <laughs> try and visualize the snap point pretty much. Come on. Funny when I did this earlier, this snap uh, was actually really quick. There it was. Okay. Now the other thing you can do is, uh, if you can convince your arc to allow you to snap the glass, you can turn those invisible. But as far as it goes, I don't think it's really too bad having those sticking out. It's it's pretty pretty okay. Last one on there. Alrighty, now if you want to, what you can do is snap a tr uh, little slope wall in there if you so feel it. I don't really think it's necessary. But as you can see, that one looks really good. A little bit of overlap on there, but nothing too major. Inside now, th that's where things get a little bit, a little bit worse. So again, what we've got is the overlapping tri of glass and metal. What we'll do for this is we're going to overlay across here. So we're basically wanting the little dip in the middle of the heart. Keep snapping to those downward facing. So let's cycle to those. Go and cycle to that. Nope. On that. Snap to the opposite, of course it did. In, in. As you can see again, you cannot get that to snap in there because of snap point problem that I was talking about. The tiles are too close together. So again, this is one of those that we can use the glass one for. So let's bring that back into play. And uh, we'll cover over one of those. Okay, that's what we wanted. That one into place. Lose that. Okay, now what we need is the dip in the middle. The bottom side. Right, where did that go? Right there. Cool. There we go. So there's your dip in the middle. It's not great on this one. You gotta admit, it's it's not hugely flash, it's not quite working as well as the others. I think in the grand scheme of things, it would be better to do just straight glass for this, like we did on the other harsh corner. I think it would probably come out better. But it really comes down to what you want. If you think it works, then that's fine. If you've got a square base, then that's kind of a useful way of doing a corner window. Now you're not limited to these shapes. This technique that I use, I use it for many, many, many things. Uh, this is a, this stems from the scrolls that I used on some of the original bases that I did. Uh, if you haven't seen those, have a look through the building showcase. I think the scrolled fortress is probably the easiest example of that. So it's basically a self-supporting ramp. Again, that's something I covered a long time ago on one of my original videos, self-supporting ramp structures. They're, they're pretty easy once you know how they work. There's a few basics in ARC that a lot of people don't actually know when it comes to building. Once you learn the basics, a lot of things don't become, don't tend to become problems anymore. Just 
snap back to the opposite. Now for this we want to snap down across some Side finished, that side's finished. Okay, so that is the harsh square corner. So, as you can see, it's not hugely heart shaped like the others, but to me, that, that would work. I'd be okay with that. Uh, then, maybe able to do more variations on it. If you guys come up with any other solutions to get that to work a little better, send me a screenshot, see what it looks like. Um, I'll post it on my Discord. But that pretty much covers the whole lot if you have any questions do fire me one in the comment section and I'll see if I can help you out uh, otherwise join the discord Ooh, we got, oh that's a glass time we do have a discord it covers the server as well as my youtube and my twitch streams so if you want to see more definitely subscribe on the youtube follow on the twitch the deets will be below um, I hope you like the look of the windows. I, I'm stoked with how they came out. Um, before I finish the video off, I will take you to the main base and show you actual windows in situ. And you can get a peek at the current build that I've got on the way. So, see you on the flip side. So here is the window in an actual base. I think it came out pretty good. This was basically to fill in a window that I didn't like. Um, the shape wasn't quite to my liking and I thought oh, I'd try surround it and yeah it came out pretty good it's basically a variation of the uh, gate and window skinning that I've done in the past on various builds so that's the try to try that is a try to square I've currently got ghost on so I can side this is the current build that we've I've got on the go the inside looks pretty good I'm pretty stoked with it. If I had a smaller base, I'd probably uh, not do the internal because it does cut into the base a little bit, but um, it's not too bad. And if we nip out the side, I'm not going to show you the whole base, there'll be a video for that when we get there. Um, I also use the same technique to make my external walls. So you can do quite a lot with this design and skin things quite nicely. But it just takes a little bit of practice. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed the tutorial, at least the finished product. Um, I did skip thing, through things pretty quick today, trying to get through all the content, but I hope you managed to pick up what you needed to. If you do come up with variations of this design, drop me a screenshot on my Discord and um, I'll have a look at it and see what, see how you came out. I, I'd be interested to see what people come up with. So if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like, drop a subscribe, follow me on Twitch, the deets will be below. Otherwise, take care and as always, enjoy your building.